Is he has no idea at all. Markiplier's udders are looking real juicy. Go get him, buddy. Oh, look at all that honey in there. Do I look like I care? <laughs> cooking with gas stop it ah. you get probably about four or five of these every week now we're gonna eat them good morning everybody i found master Ugwe after he's been hiding under a barn for five days this man loves to just up and disappear for like three days straight and hang out under there hey guys today i'm going to show you with this little shelf here i found a little rock outside how to bottle feed a orphan squirrel i use these little miracle syringes these are the best possible things you can use with this little nipple here just a three cc syringe is enough i only use fox valley nutrition because that's a specific for squirrels formula. Patrick, if you keep nibbling on my hair, I'm gonna eat you, boy. Stop it. Ah, ah. Now you guys are probably thinking, Uncle Ben, why do you have him on that big rock? You want him to be stretched out on top of something. And yes, the rock just moved a little bit. Now it's very important when you're feeding them to push the syringe very, very slowly because we don't want them to aspirate. If they aspirate, they get something called aspiration pneumonia and they can die from that. Patrick, this is a baby that doesn't even have open eyes. He has no idea at all what's going on. Uh oh, our rock's starting to move away but you see how slowly i'm doing get out of here petra you see how slowly i'm moving the syringe there's no possible way that this guy could aspirate because he's doing half the work this is very important i'm going to show you guys how to latrine them what you want to do is just use your finger to stimulate the little dinguses but i'll finish showing you guys that inside because patrick won't stop jumping on me i wasn't thinking about him being out here but thank you master ugwe for using your body as a little table for us to be able to do that we love you and we appreciate you master ugwe look at patrick just licking him i sure do love this ancient creature Bye, Patrick. Oh, boy. If you guys don't feel comfortable using your fingers, you can always use a warm, wet washcloth. Even though we get three calls about squirrels every week. This is the only wildlife animal we have here, so I'm taking extra special care of it. Usually, I give the squirrels to my friend Amanda because she's another rehabber that does a great job and she specializes in squirrels. But she has too many and she says, Ben, please stop giving me all your dang squirrels. Now, we're going to eat them. But like I said, I get about four calls about these guys every week. And my other rehabber friends have about 30. But after that, I just go ahead and fold him back up in his little nest and i put him in his little incubator here where he will stay nice and warm until the next time where i need to feed him so this is what i use you guys i use fox valley nutrition with a little bit of electrolytes especially when they first come in and they're dehydrated i weigh them on a little scale here and then i give them five percent of that in cc's for their body weight well so this little bingus weighs 84 grams that's after he was fed but we'd want to give him about four cc's for his body weight speaking of squirrels you guys big ounce is basically just a type of ground squirrel and one which you don't need a permit to own in the great state of texas so at least in this state what is he doing now the squirrels i showed you may look like good pets but they're nothing like biggerton ounceerton sure they're cute when they're babies but so is everything else he's acting so cringe oh there he goes but yeah guys even big ounces don't make great pets the squirrels end up being jerks whenever they hit their teenage stage and they need to go back to the wild a bite from a squirrel or a prairie dog is really painful i don't think this is an ideal pet for for beginners when i first got big ounce he would chew all of my cords like this and if i just kind of left him to run around the house all day he would chew every cord here as you can see he chews on the welcome mat he chews on all the trim and the baseboards especially the ones near doorways because he thinks he's gonna get escaped sometimes you take an apple away from him or in this case dry up a puddle and he starts to get real angry and try and bite you although i personally have never been bit by big ounce he's come pretty close see right now big ounce is angry at me for taking away the puddle of water on the ground so here's a little puddle of fresh water buddy i'll just let him drink out of this precious baby boy but these squirrels aren't any better you guys oh fire truck driving by very nice but these squirrels aren't any better you guys and in fact they're actually quite a bit worse man this boy is still drinking and when they're babies they do seem like they would make great pets they really don't and at least big ounce stays on the floor imagine having something with all of the anger and temperament of big ounce that can chew through wires and everything else that also jumps on the ceiling but okay guys that's two out of the three feedings i'm giving this guy today I could give him four. But it sure is weird putting the last 100 degree day behind us, isn't it, Master Ugwe? My grass and I have waited a long time for this. What's crazier is that we now have this open enclosure space to put anything else in here. Wild or domestic. Happy moment. Oh, is that hit rapper and artist the baby? Pretty soon we're going to start to get rain again and all of this is going to start to turn green. Also, I left the hose on this morning, apparently, and this thing just got flooded. Look at that little baby. Also, I got some internet criticism 
them for releasing a rabbit on my property. There are tons of wild rabbits that just live here and thrive. Also, the eagle enclosure is almost done being framed. I've decided to fence in the middle of this so this whole thing ends up being a 200 foot run. And when I fix this up as a shelter, the eagles will be able to fly from here, loop around that little area there with the pond, because this will be a big fenced in wall. But with this huge open 20 foot space here, the eagles and osprey will be able to turn around and fly above this little pond here so that way they can practice turning. And the only downside to this is that it's going to be nearly impossible to catch them when they're ready to be released. But that's how it's supposed to be, I suppose. Next big projects are going to be finishing the framing, finishing this pond here, getting a mesh to cover the whole thing. And after that, we should be cooking with gas. Homelander is healed up completely. He no longer has a little gash in his foot anymore. And I found a lovely home for these adorable little cringe emus. Petunia is still a really great mother to baby pigs, even ones that she didn't raise or give birth to herself. So when people abandon or surrender little tiny piglets, I can just give them to her. Also, please stop asking about Cringe and Mrs. Ounce. I rehome them to my contractor's kids. In the last video, I promised you guys I would show you what's inside the beehive. It's too dark for that now, so I'll just go ahead and... Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm gonna be smoking my bees. Today's a big day. You guys all said, Uncle Ben, when are you gonna show us your bees? They're all dead, aren't they, Uncle Ben? Aren't they dead? They're all dead, Uncle Ben, aren't they? But yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and try smoking my bees today because we got a bunch of guys working on the property. Look how nice of a job those guys are doing over there. Oh, now we're cooking with gas, baby. Let's go get these bees. You guys are all gonna say, oh, Uncle Ben, you're not supposed to smoke your bees, Uncle Ben. That's bad for them. <laughs> do I look like I care? <laughs> First thing I want to do is get rid of all these dang weeds. See now, Uncle Ben's a little too lazy to paint his hive body before he puts them on here. Hey guys, take a look at this. Okay guys, as you can see, we got tons of honey in here. I'm gonna lift up one of these bad boys so you can see it. Okay guys, I'm gonna use this little tool here to lift one of these up for you. Wow, look at my little bees, you guys. Oh, look at all that honey in there, whoa. Sweet wampum, we could be eating this. Pierce, how's about you come over here and take a little bite of this, huh? But yeah guys, look, this is all good honey that they've already capped off. Off. a lot of it they've already capped off i'm gonna go ahead and just put this back in there try not to kill these guys they're swarming okay hey calm down boys oh they're waking up now boys okay all right never mind hey take a look at this guys we got a nice big thing full of honey actually gonna put the new one in here it doesn't have anything about a bing bada boom i'm gonna put this one in this new one take a look at that this way they'll start building combs on the new racks much faster okay now i'm gonna go ahead and put this top on and we're done see that wasn't so hard you guys okay guys that's it i used the smoke for the first time or yeah whatever i'm a villain but there it is you guys we do in fact have a ton of honey in there let me know if you want me to harvest it now, all of that honey was from me not putting any pollen or nectar in there at all this year but these bees did eat every one of the fruits that we threw at whistling diesel's ferrari you guys now that's over with i have no idea how to turn this dang thing off i just dumped this in a fire pit what am i supposed to do with it also i have it on high authority that that save the bees lady on the hit app name of tiktok she definitely smokes the heck out of her bees there's no way she doesn't. I'm calling you out, Texas Bee Works. If you want to prove me wrong, come out here. Uh, free handle all these bees. Just to prove a point, you guys, I'm standing here in a tank top next to a bunch of really angry, upset bees. But I smoked the heck out of them, so they're not stinging me at all. They're not even landing on me. Take a look at this, you guys. Markiplier's udders are looking real juicy. Oh, sweet wampum, those udders are looking real thick. It's taking a lot of self-control to not squeeze those. Come on, Markiplier, please. Let me just... Yeah, please. Please turn around, Markiplier. Hold that burrito out. Hold that burrito out. Let's see. Oh, come on. Oh. Good morning, God. Look at these pigeons, you guys. For some reason, my pigeons live in these trees instead of their coop now. Oh, he's perfect. I don't like killing these things because I think they're so cute. Oh, you're going to just splash them? Yeah, watch. That's all you needed was soap? Soap and water. What the heck? That was just Dawn dish soap? Right after I gave that squirrel to another rehabber, we have two more mouths to feed. But here it is, guys, just to prove my point from earlier in this video. These are the only wildlife that we're still getting now. There's still tons of squirrels falling out of nests and trees. You get probably about four or five of these every week. So precious. I'm gonna go ahead and give them some fluids because look how wrinkly they are. But man, right after we got rid of that other one, we should have just kept that little boy because now we have two more. 
Also, Big Ounce is getting fat again because I realized that he wasn't drinking his water. Prairie dogs don't need to drink water. Because all the moisture they need, they get through their food. Now I put a little bowl in there for Big Ounce because there's not a lot of moisture in that hay. Okay, I just refilled the cappy water, but I'm not sure why these sprinklers are on. And, ah, ah. I don't know why the sprinklers are on right now. Look at this big, beautiful boy. But also, now that it's not a million degrees, we're going to start running the sprinklers everywhere here again. Hopefully, the ground will actually retain it. Because it's going to be a bit colder, Gustavo here might need to be moved out into full sun but he's doing really well in here now and he's very happy look at all that enrichment go get him buddy but that's it for now you guys i love you i appreciate you thanks so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next video oh i almost forgot to tell what you guys made it this far in the video without liking or subscribing <sighs>